my people in Niger Delta. Asa wana wana. Asa wana wana. Asa wana wana. I want everyone to calm down. Agbala of Niger Delta Striker Force, Comrade Richard, the Black Marine. I want everybody to calm down. If not because of what is happening right now in Nigeria, yesterday could have been a celebration day. It is raining now. The rain that you people are seeing that is raining is rain of money. Let us calm down. Let us appreciate our dearly president who listen to the cries of the poor masses. Oh my God. If not because of what is happening, I still repeat it. Yesterday could have been a celebration day. Um, has come the day of our joy has come actually we are more than 70 million in grant community by next week we want to make sure that we get this money a lot of things is happening on the ground grant community is very very wide it's very very wide i shiva kogun I stand with our daily president, Ashwaj Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and I'm still appealing to all youths in Nigeria, don't ever go out for a protest. Sometimes it's wise to keep quiet so that even if one is foolish, the foolishness will not uh, show. We are all here, we are all here trying to see how this boss meant to go on. You have heard though. Chief Akoku came out and said next week. You have heard though, he said next week that there will be this boss met. And he also said that if it's not because of this protest, this disbursement would have happened today. Or was it yesterday? So he has made the matter clear now that next week is this boss met. For me now, it's quite obvious that. Ken has no money to disburse. A lot of people were saying it. We were giving him benefit of doubt. Now he is sending, he's sending his full soldiers to talk. So what I'm trying to arrive is that Chivakogo have said next week, personally, within my power, if you ask me, the solution to all this is protest. Not even press conference. It's protest. Come to the street, carry Ken Wakama's placard, carry UAG placard, put, give us our money. Arise Television will cover it. Channels will cover it. Then they will now start digging deep. Then the matter will open because it is obviously clear that the president is not aware of UAG. Doesn't even know what is UAG. And Ken has succeeded in telling EFCC for story and bribing EFCC. All the force in Nigeria can have used money to keep them short. The only people that will know now that we don't know their fate is this uh, CDHR. We don't know their fate if they have received bribe or not. But the way it's standing now is as if they've not received bribe. So we are on our own now. Chief Akogu or whatever they call him came out. Let's forget about no protest he's talking about because he is irrelevant in Nigerian matter. But with the matter of a uh, grand community now, because he's working for some people, he's working for Ken and Co. Now, do you see do you see the game they were playing? They came out to stage an opera that they want the names of those in government committee published within 24 hours. Then Ken came, came and told them to calm down. Why? Because there is nothing like government committee. And my own now is there's another problem on the ground. And we need clarification for AGPGN. They have to come out to clarify. They have to come out to tell us what is really happening also because them too have cockroaches in their cupboard. The way it is now, all grant community in Nigeria are fake. All grant handlers that are under these are grant community are fake. Why? If they are not fake, how many years will it take one grant to disburse money? How many years? 
Mama Supreme came out now and she was talking about uh, uh, giving bicycle, giving sewing machine. That is not it. That is a humanitarian project that NGO does. What we are talking about now is grants. So, what we are saying in essence is that Chief Akugo have told us to give them two weeks that they will be disbursement. Personally, I will try within my power to move for protest after two weeks. There has to be a stop to this sometime, somewhere. This thing cannot perpetually continue. If it means taking risk, let, is the risk not risky enough? How many people need to die? How many people need to lose their, their, their means of livelihood? How many people need to be in abject misery before we know that we have to take the poop by the horn? So, for me now, two weeks counting, two weeks counting, then we we'll move for protest. Forget about press conference. Press conference is it not you come, you speak, you speak. When you are on the street, people will pay attention because what is obvious now in Nigeria is that nothing is done until people come to the street. The government was not doing anything all along until there is a massive protest. Massive protest now, they went to go and rebag some bag of rice and say that they are selling it 40,000. That one is, 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 is babash. How can I buy a bag of rice 70,000? Want to sell it 80,000? You come and tell me to sell it 40,000. Are you the one that open business for me? Do you give me subsidy or grants to open business? So, all those rebag rice they packed and put it on telly, they are selling it 40,000. Is those bag of rice that are supposed to be for the poor? There's nothing like bag of rice 40,000. If you have bought bag of rice in the market 40,000, drop your comment in the description. There's nothing like that. I just came back from the market and I'm staying in Sokoto where rice is cheap. Rice is 75,000. Depending on what you want to buy. So, sorry that I digressed. What I'm saying this is that protest is the next option. Press conference are filled. Mama, Mama, uh, Madame Temito own is this bureaucratic method. I know now they will go to the presidency, getting access to see the doc to going to the presidency. Who, how, how would they lobby to get to the presidency? So the Ken knows how he sent them to a tax that he knows that they will not go and get the document. Okay, if they go now, they can never get that document from the presidency because they will not even have access to the presidency. So Ken knows what he's doing until people come out and protest in grand community who will not be liberated. See, Chief Akoguna came out to laugh at us. To laugh at us. Anyways, so guys, just want to elaborate what he said. He gave us two weeks. Two weeks from now, there will be disbursement. Chief Akogo have said. So let's give him benefit of doubt till two weeks. See you on the other side.